Dave Wood uh, from Caltrans. District 3, is it? Correct. All right. And uh, tell me who you, your title. Dave Wood, Donner Pass Area Superintendent, Caltrans. All right. Dave Wood, thanks for joining us today up there at Donner Pass. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're seeing right now up there. Well, we have a tremendous amount of water in every form. We have snow stacked up 40, 50 feet high in storage areas that's uh, slowly melting. We have standing water at the side of the road. We have overwhelmed, overwhelmed rivers and, and drains. And behind me, you have Old Donner Pass Road, which is the old highway. And we have a snowblower out there trying to clear out about four feet of water as there's a school down the road that's endangered. Okay, so the Donner Trail School. Okay, so uh, a combination of the rain that's been coming down and the snow that's melting as a result of the rain is causing this flooding. Is that right? Absolutely. We had record-setting amounts of snowfall in January, and now we're getting a tremendous amount of rain. It's like standing in the shower out here, and it can possibly melt the snowpack very quickly. Right now, below 6,000 feet, it looks like springtime. The snow's almost gone. Wow. And so I'm assuming that besides the location that you're at, the highways in general going up and over the pass uh, are a problem as well with the rain. Well, we have enough pitch on the, the freeway here that it runs to the sides, uh, but there's places where it just overwhelms the drain. It keeps going downstream. There's enough standing water on the road. It's actually possible to hide the plane going uphill or down. Okay, so obviously with the trucks and the other cars, uh, I would think that the key advice here would be for people to slow down, right? Absolutely. The number one thing you can do to be safe up here is slow down. After that, be prepared. Know what you're getting yourself into weather-wise by checking the weather. Go to caltransquickmaps.com. You can check the traffic there and any restrictions such as chains or cables necessary. and and turn off anything, any device or anything that's going to distract you because you need to be paying attention to conditions. It's pretty fierce. We're in the middle of, of the wilderness out here and Mother Nature's in full force. Absolutely. And uh, I understand, and tell me if you know anything about it, I heard you guys have a new, a new app. I'm sorry? A new application for your phone. Uh, yes, that's the Caltrans Quick Map I was talking about, and that's downloadable to mobile devices. You just can't go anywhere in California anymore without checking quick maps first. All right, sounds good. And uh, so in the, the next, uh, let's say the next 12 to 24 hours, what are you guys expecting up there? We're expecting to four and a half inches of rain that will turn into snow Thursday afternoon into Friday. And it's safer for us to have it turn into snow, but we're already stacked up snow 25 feet in places on the summit. We're running out of places to put it. At least the snow gives us more time to deal with the, the water and the runoff. If we get all rain and it starts melting the rest of the snowpack. Right, and your problem. camera person there is showing me the snow packed up along the side. Uh, can you have him or her show me what's going on behind you? Well, we have a snowblower in the background. Uh, they were blowing water out of a drain to try and get it off the roadway. The school's down the, the road from us here. And uh, snowblower is very effective as a water pump. And uh, we just have to clear this drain out and make sure it's running at capacity to get the water off of this road. Yeah. Uh, hey, good work up there. Keep up the great work. Thanks for the great advice. And one thing before I let you go, I love the cowboy hat. I want one. Well, thank you. Me too. Uh, available online. I think it was 32 bucks delivered. Between the cowboy hat and the mustache, everybody remembers. <laughs> Absolutely. Starts. No, that's a, that's a great idea. So people can actually buy one of those things. Are they safe? I'm sorry. I can't hear you because of traffic. Uh, so are, do they actually protect Absolutely. You? It's a safety-rated hat. I wouldn't wear it otherwise. Get out. That's fantastic. Hey, Dave. Dave Wood up there at Donner Pass. Thanks so much.